Hey guys, welcome back. This is, Eric doesn't even know this, he's over on the other screen. Today is the first day of the new name of the radio show. It's not Fishing Florida Radio. We've changed it to Get Your Fish On, specifically because, uh, Eric, we were getting beat up for being only Florida. How long have you known me? <laughs> um, so this is the first iCast special that we've done with the new name, Get Your Fish On. And I couldn't be happier to introduce a great friend of mine. We've known each other for years. He has some of the most innovative baits on the market uh, that you're going to see firsthand and up close. But welcome to the show, my boy, Eric Garner. Eric, how do you like that? How you doing? Congratulations on the new name. I guess, uh, you know, uh, it's a new world, so we got to make sure we're including everybody, huh? Yeah, you'd be surprised on how that name has hurt has hurt us more than anything. I didn't think it ever did, but uh, we've had more and more people say, you know what, you, uh, you, you're, you're limiting yourself to Florida by just being fishing Florida radio. So new name, new logo. Same, same old baloney, but you know, that's, that, it just, it needs to happen. Sounds great, man. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear it. And, uh, we're, we're happy to be here with you and missed you at ICAST, but yes. here we are. Okay. F but before we get started, tell me a little bit about yourself. How did you get introdu introduced in the outdoors and what's your position at uh, the Great Livingston Lures? Well, um, I started fishing at a young age, you know, parents had a house and uh, uh, we traveled to the Bahamas every summer. And uh, so that's what my introduction was at a very young age, just fishing saltwater. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Florida and a great friend of mine, Mr. Fred Bata, um, had the opportunity uh, to purchase this amazing technology and uh, he called me up. I was in the Florida Keys actually. Uh, and uh, he says, Eric, I have this sound technology and you know it just struck a chord with me because we were using sound off the uh bahama banks banging the side of the boat with with uh with a you know with the mop yeah hanging, you know hitting it and attracting fish so i knew sound was pretty interesting so i jumped on that opportunity um and moved to texas in 2012 and basically we do everything from you know from sales to to marketing and uh Kind of uh, treat it like my baby, so I'm I'm hands on on every aspect of the business, from you know the sales to marketing and to the development of the product. Yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, so it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty full plate every day. How how long did it take to get the 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 EBS system from from when you started it to where you are now? How long did that process take to make it? And tell everybody what the EBS system is. Right. So the EBS system is their electronic bait fish sound. So um, Robert Castaneda um, invented this uh, deal and uh, he was fishing out Texas coast and, you know, he'd run out to go buy some croaker and the croaker would be sold out. You know, they run two months of the year and obviously the bait shops were preference, you know, and give it to, to their top captains uh, uh, before, you know, regular Joe's. Mm -hmm. So he uh, he was frustrated. He couldn't get any croakers and uh, proceeded to go fishing. Had a terrible day out of the water. Very very windy, and uh, he got home. And apparently, I don't recall now if it was a birthday card or a Christmas card. But it opened it up and it started singing. Oh, right. Didn't even think of that. Yeah. Yeah. It has the and so the, yeah. So he's you know his light bulb went off and he's like, well, shoot, if I can have the sound inside of a lure and I can record the sound of a croaker. And that's when it started. I believe it started in 2008 or 2007, where he started recording some of these sounds and then finding the guy, uh, the right factory to be able to, you know, install an internal chip, uh, a, a little battery, small wires, and I mean, it's it's pretty incredible when you think about it. We've got a little computer inside this bait. Yeah. And so when we took over in 2012, we immediately went to Texas State University and said, hey, uh, we'd love for you guys to do a study on this. And they charged a pretty penny and we didn't know what the outcome would be. But, uh, you know, we were confident uh, that the 
scent works, right? And yeah. it takes longer to to travel in the water. Well, the sound is another way they forage, right? How they find their food. And yep. it travels about 1,500 feet per second. So we knew for sure we had something good, but we didn't know the outcome. Anyway, two-year study comes out, and, you know, we got a bunch of really incredible uh, information, uh, which has already been in the science books for 20 years, you know, about the internal ear and the and the, and the hearing and how sensitive they are. Fish hear about 300 times better than us. So we were able to adapt and fix the the sound was originally coming out a little, a little bit too loud so we found out that the sweet spot was anywhere from you know certain decibel level to a, a, another certain decibel which i uh -huh. don't want to divulge because that's yeah. the secret sauce and it's taken a lot of years and a lot of money to, to to get this stuff but uh so there's a certain decibel level that these fish are hearing anything over that is white noise they won't hear it they really are low frequency sounds and if it's not a low frequency sound they will not detect it um so so basically that's that's how it it, it started we started uh you know well we purchased a 212 we did the studies with the universities and then we went off and, and started recording a lot of the sounds uh ourselves in in lab it was it was a tedious process um but you know we've got uh I think now I've got over 120 sounds in the library. Wow. And uh, so, yeah, so a couple of years ago, we uh, we decided, okay, well, let's match the hatch. You know, people are so worried about, you know, the beautiful paint jobs that looks like a bluegill. So mm -hmm. now our bluegill sounds like a bluegill. Yeah. And it, our perch is a perch, and the Cisco is a Cisco, a shad's a shad, and the frog's a frog. So, We've come a long way with that. We're really proud of, of, of that uh, accomplishment, even though it's a, it's a nightmare at the factory getting all these sounds and all these colors and all these chips and the right lures. But, uh, yeah, so that's that's basically, in a nutshell, how uh, Livingston has grown throughout the years. And, and uh, you know, we've demonstrated it uh, at Bass Pro. When we first sold Bass Pro, we, we stuck our competitor's lure halfway in the tank and asked the managers, give me five minutes. And, you know, they were looking at us like we were crazy because the fish didn't even blink at this of competitor's course. lure dead stick halfway in the tank. Yeah. So then I took our original Pro Ripper in a clear form like this, you know, no paint, yep. no nothing, and, you know, chucked it in the tank all the way to the back and let it sink, let it sink to the bottom. And, you know, within about three seconds, it became a feeding frenzy. That is and awesome. That's when Bass Pro said, okay, well, this is not a gimmick. And, you know, it's funny how people think it's a gimmick. And I always tell people, well, for 50 years, companies have been trying to make or imitate the sounds of bait fish yeah. with rattles. Exactly. And then I tell people, well, what, what's a rattle for? It definitely is not for balance because it's moving all over the place. It's sound. It's sound. And then they get it. It clicks in them. Oh, wow. You know, okay, yeah, it makes sense. And then they try it. And then they see really the difference you know it's it's not going to guarantee you're going to catch a fish every time but i tell you if i've got that extra that extra secret sauce where it's it's a jerk bait that's just suspended and it's a sound of a wounded shad you look at the difference of how they come after a living set of lures and they come after other lures they're coming to kill it they're coming to choke it and eat it so it's it's pretty cool yeah it it really is one of the things uh i like about uh, Livingston lures is it, and we, sh we, you didn't even go into it really. You have four different sounds in the new lures. It isn't just one pattern. You have Correct. four of them in the new ones and you can That's change them up yourself by just touching the front. What is it? The front and the back hook that the front and the, so initially you'll, it's called the multi-touch and the multi-touch brings three sounds with an option to run silent. Yes. Okay, so so the multi-touch, what you do is uh, it's got three contact points. And just to give you, go back a little bit, the lure is activated. So on a regular lure, it's got a positive and negative, which is the front and back hook. So when the water, when that bait hits the water, the water is the conduct, acts like it's a conductor, and it turns on the switch. It turns the lure on. So um, it automatically turns on. Now on the multi-touch, you have to set the sounds It'll come. It'll come with no sound. Then you you'll touch the front hook and the and the line tie and the back hook simultaneously mm -hmm. for about five seconds. When you 
cook and you're still holding your line tie on the front hook, and then it'll shuffle through the sound. Yes. Once it shuffles through those sounds, you could release the contacts, and now it's set on that one particular sound that you've chosen, and it will be on until you change it or go to silent. Now, how I'm just asking, just out of, uh, for yeah. people that don't know, how long does the battery last? So we say, um, Steve, they last for 200 hours. I've got some lures that are four and five years old that are still chirping. Yeah. And, uh, you know, obviously it's a battery inside, so, uh, and the two contact points. So it's very important that people store the Livingston mm -hmm. separately. Oh, okay. So the two contact points are never being hit by another lure and so forth. So we say 200 hours, which for your average use of a lure uh, from our study is about two years um of life um but you know it's 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 hard to hold on to a lure for two years uh i believe uh if you're not losing them you're not fishing in the right spots but exactly but yeah one thing we've we've seen steve uh you know because we we warranty our product 100 mm -hmm. if the lure is defective something happens you know the bill comes out or or you know the figure eight shape rig comes out or the sound doesn't work. We replace it, no questions asked. Mm. All we ask is for you to send a picture or proof of purchase and we we send it right out. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Well, I have two products that we know about. How many how many new products do we have coming out of this upcoming year? Uh well we've got we've got I've got like five in the oven. Awesome. Uh, I wasn't able to make all five due to the COVID deal, you know, our factory was shut down and, and, uh, so, but I was able to pull off. I came out, uh, I know John Gillespie, uh, from up North. I don't know if you know John Gillespie yes. from Water and Woods TV yep. show and, and, uh, Pete Mena and, and their whole crew up there that, that just, uh, love Pete Mena's predator series baits that he's, he does for us. And they said, man, we need a, uh, you, your pro ripper is awesome, but it's not heavy enough. We need we need close to an ounce, so that sucker we could rip it for walleye. So we did the pro ripper magnum, which is just over an ounce. Uh, it's pretty pretty heavy little sucker, yep. and uh, man, it, it's it fishes real well. It was just approved uh, about four weeks ago, um, and uh, you know it's uh, it's about an ounce, and uh, yeah, we're we're excited to put it out there. Bass um, Pro is putting it into their lineup, so you'll see it on Bass Pro shelves. How much? Uh, how how uh, how many colors do they come in, and how much are they? Okay, they're going to be in the uh, Pro series, which is our more affordable uh, category, and that's uh, nine forty nine. Oh, and I'm coming out with five. Uh, initial colors. I have the gold one up on the other screen. Yes, or the gold shot is yes. pretty. Yeah, yeah. So there's five colors, and then we'll we'll we're gonna increase that, but we wanted to come out with five top colors that that uh, basically Pete and Steve Herbick wanted to, to to come out with. Yeah. How how does how do you go into looking at at colors? Do you have a, a group? Do you, do, you, do you call Randy and the guys on the pro staff and say? Hey, here's 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 the new Pro Ripper. Um, here's the the colors that we want to come out with to start off with. Is there anything you want to see? Does it do? How do, does it work like that? Or there's is there another absolutely, way? Absolutely, absolutely. Between Randy Hal, Jacob Perosic, Pete Mena, and even Captain Wild Bill uh, for Saltwater. So yeah, we we definitely uh, build the colors for them uh, that they want. There's some colors that aren't on the market that they don't want on the market that are kind of secret to them yeah. uh, and then eventually we, we come out with them but certainly we we get our input from that and then we get inputs from from our sales trends we see uh what top colors are are, are doing the best um and we kind of you know weed it out from there yeah we had a question from craig i need to make sure he knows they are not 49 dollars. they are nine dollars nine dollars and 49 cents yes so Yes. Series. He yeah, thought nine forty nine. Yeah. Okay. Next, I think we have. I have a picture of the prime time. Can you tell us a little bit about that one? Sure. The prime time is, uh, you know, family of prime times from, from the one point five up to the two point twos, and we were missing uh, a little bit larger profile bait. Uh, still shallow diver, but larger profile. We came out with a four point four seven eighths of an ounce prime time. 
and we did something different too with the prime time on this one. We usually have circuit board lips. Oh, and okay. And from talking with Randy and Jacob, we decided to just do a molded lip that comes with the body. Um, probably a little know. more uh, uh, easy to, uh, probably a little bit more sturdy if it's that way, to be honest. You could probably bounce off the rocks a little bit better. You know, it, it, it all depends really on, on your preference. I kind of love the, the, the circuit board lips, but it's, I guess, a little bit more durable um, when it comes to, because, uh, you know, the I've got some prime times that the bill has been worn out from so much, mm -hmm. you know, scrape at the bottom, which is cool. Uh, but, yeah, so this is this this plastic lip will will last longer. Um, and figuring, you know, it's a shallow dive, you're going to be bouncing off of rocks and, and off the bottom. So that's why the pros uh, wanted it, you know, to be a full, full lip, you know, yeah. part of the body. How, how, how deep will that dive? How much and how many colors? Okay, so this one is going anywhere from four to six foot. Okay. It's got an amazing wobble and it kind of has a little hunt to the right and then it finds true again and so it, it's pretty good it swims a little bit erratic it looks like it's gonna blow out but then it comes back to center um, and uh, we we have initially five colors I think we're going to increase that uh, for this type of bait um, to maybe incorporate 12 colors but as of right now we have you know the five you know primary you know sunrise shad uh, triple X Shad, we have Gidrin, and uh, I think I've got some crawl colors in it coming as well. And prices on that one? The prices on this will be in the tournament series, and this is a family of the tournament series. It'll have, it'll match the hatch with the sound, and uh, there'll be eleven ninety nine. So still extremely reasonable, extreme, yeah, especially now. Does that have the the three four sounds to it? No, tournament series is one sound. Okay. Team Livingston is the multi-touch. So uh, we make we made this in the tournament series, and we made the tournament series to be a little bit more affordable. Same lures yep. in the team series as the tournament, but one sound that matches the hatch. And in the team Livingston, you have the option for three different sounds. So we did that initially just to. Because, you know, when initially we came out, there were seventeen ninety nine the multi-touch. And mm -hmm. we brought it down to about sixteen ninety nine. And, you know, considering all these new tariffs and so forth that we've been hit with, yeah. we've maintained our prices, you know, for our dealers and for our customers. So we're, we're taking a little bit of a hit. You know, it's a, it's, it's a very little margins on these baits. And so, but, you know, we're, we're, we're you know, taking care of our customers and our dealers. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, yeah. what, what's next can you show us? So, so for the Predator series, um, you know, from our Rachels and our Squeaky Peets and all that, which is the Muskie, Pike, Walleye lineup, um, you know, we've introduced uh, some new colors. Uh, we've got the uh, the new Pearl, which we kind of enhanced. Oh, I like that. Red eye on it, and uh, some little tails on there, and then we've got uh, the new Fireball. Oh, that's a badass color. That's yeah, a badass that's cool. color. Yeah. And uh, and then we've got the, uh, I don't have a name for this yet. Maybe you can help me with a name. I don't want um, my name because I'll, it'll have a swear <laughs> word in it. You know me too well. But it's got a black, <laughs> black, uh, black, black, you know. Black oh, black. does it have, what does the, uh, it looks like it has, does it indent on the side? Yes, it's got the here. Yeah. Yeah, those are gill. gill oh, uh, no, no, on, no, going horizontal or is that paint? Like it oh, looks like a vertical that's line. A lateral line. Yeah, that all of our Livingston lures have from from tournament series up to the Predator and Saltwater series. We've got a little indent, which is our lateral line, as you can see there. Now, does that help it? Does that make the wobble tighter or make it go a little bit? No, doesn't? absolutely not. The balancing and the and the shape of the lip is what really creates the action. All the other is all the other gizmos you see are just cosmetic. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the good thing about these lures too, all, all in the Predator series, they're all wire through. Oh yeah, that's they're awesome. Built, they're built like a like a Tonka truck. Yeah. Remember Tonka? And and uh, so it's pretty neat. Every single one of them. Let's see. These are painted over. 
Let me show you here. I, I had a question from Mark Tomlinson. I think you met Mark at the, at the Classic a few years ago because he still he said he's still yeah. using his frogs. They still work perfectly. Are you considering making any mini frogs? Oh, my goodness. That's a question we get every day. And uh, as a matter of fact, I was on a Skype call with a factory, a battery factory. Um, you know, we're on the cutting edge of what small technology is yeah. when it comes to batteries, when it comes to computer chips. Um, you know, we've got our little Diablo, which is, you know, an inch and a half long yep. bait. And we're able to fit the speaker, the chip, and the battery all in there and then balance it out with the wires. And so pretty amazing. And so I'm struggling every day to find new technology because right now I don't have it. And, I, you know, it's, it's just impossible to go any smaller than what I have. Yeah. But we're at it every day. Every day, there's not a day, second that goes by that we're thinking, how, what about if we do this, or what about if we do that, and we're trying, maybe if we do a trailer hook. So yeah. I've got a few out there that, prototypes that are being used mm -hmm. by uh, our pro staff, and getting feedback uh, on them. So stay tuned, because that's something something we really want, and uh, I have some jigs, too, that are coming. Oh, nice. That Sh are going to- With the sound? With the sound. Shut up. Yes, yes. That's and those are coming crazy real soon. tiny. I'm sorry. That'll be crazy tiny. Yeah, it's 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 pretty. We're excited about that. We're using our current bullet capsule, which comes with our EBS fitters, and uh, you know we've got uh, Steve Herbick, who's who's a tremendous fisherman up there in Wisconsin area, and Pete Mena, and and uh, they just kind of tinker around and they built this one and. So we're coming out with it soon. I've got prototypes that are on the way from from our factory, and that's exciting news. That's that you should. Uh, I'll ch I'll send you an email once they get here, and I'll send you uh, some pictures of it and wait so you could see it. But that's that's exciting stuff. Well, you just got to come back on. That's what it all it is. Yeah. When absolutely. it comes on, let's just let's just do another one of these. Absolutely, anytime. Man. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm all about it. Okay, what else? Do we have anything else you can show us that we won't get in trouble for? Well, I mean, you well, won't get in trouble, but... I think uh, another little bait, I don't have one here with me. Uh, we, we released it last year. Um, and I do have the new uh, Jerkmaster Jr. Oh, I like that bait. Which has been phenomenal. It's just flying off the shelves. I got the first order of that and the walking bosses, and they flew. Um, and, uh, the great little bait 0 0.34, 0 0.34 of an ounce. It's three inches long. It has a very slow fall. Uh -huh. And then again, it's emitting the sound of a wounded shad. So it mimics just how the shad falls as it's dying and yeah. sinking to the bottom. And it's emitting, you know, uh, the sound that they emit when they're struggling uh, and, uh, so this, this little jerk master junior has been phenomenal as well as the walking boss one and two juniors. I can't keep them in stock. I did a closer, I did a closer look on the walking boss junior recently. Uh, the, uh, I don't know which one it was now that I say it, the one that has the jointed tail. Uh, right with the jitterbug lip. That's the yes. walking boss too. Correct? Yeah. I did a, just did a closer look and put it on the YouTube in the last couple of few months. Once it, once it came out, I bought it and. Nice. And did uh, the three sixty and all that stuff. It it was it's it's a great bait. The action on that bait is ridiculous uh, yeah. because that cupped lip on the front it pushes water almost spits water as it's moving back and forth. It's and a it, fantastic gargling sound. Yes. And then on top of that, you've got the shad wounded sound, which is yeah, it's a phenomenal bait. We got a call from a customer the other day. He called me up and and asked me if I could make the walking boss. Uh, junior two without the tail because he his on his first cast on his third cast he caught like an eight pounder but when he took the bait out he realized that the tail end was missing so obviously it was a defect that yeah. we replaced it for him but he's like eric but wait the story's not over we i threw it without the lip <laughs> without the back end yeah and he goes I caught a five pounder. I got a four pounder. I got a three pounder. You should make one without the the tail, just <laughs> that same size. And I was laughing, but uh, he continued to use it, man, and he was still crushing it. 
And you, uh, it's it's great that you guys back back up what you guys are doing by replacing something like that that isn't really your fault. Probably came from the factory and was probably had something went wrong and but or it could have happened in transit or anything. But you guys fixed it. That's wonderful. Yeah, it's all you know when it comes to ultrasonic sealing. You know, there's something with any product. You know, there's a there's a percentage that that uh, that uh, we know is going to be damaged. Um, so if it's something like that that happens because you know that tail land has been rated for 100 pounds of pressure, so that's you know that's a 40 pound fish. Mm-hmm. You know that could really grab that and throw it around. So if it's breaking off, it's it's we know uh, it's 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 a defect. Now if Somebody calls us and says, "Well, the lip broke." Well, you know, you hit something. You yeah. know, yeah, uh, you hit it. You 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 cast it against a bunch of a wall that broke the lip. I've yeah. heard that story before, not from you, from from somebody else. I don't... Yeah, and you know that 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 kind of user error. I mean, it, it, it you know sometimes we do to replace it depending on on the person's attitude, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So that but that's yeah. great. I'm. It's great to see. It's great to see you again because we see each other every year and, and we always catch up. But it, I'm great to see that you guys are doing so well. How, how is uh, how is the COVID thing hurt or helped you? I mean, are is stuff still flying off the shelves for you? You know, it's doing very well. It's doing very very well. I know our, uh, our distributors' uh, business is up twenty percent. Um, I haven't done anything. I haven't even seen where we're at. To be honest with you, we've been so busy. You know, we just launched our new uh, lobster collar, you know, because we're in the commercial industry, too. We're making these sound chambers uh, for lobster, king crab, stone oh, crab. Oh, really? Crab. Yeah. Yeah. I think I saw that last year, actually. I think you showed me that yeah. last year. Yeah. yeah. Just came out with the lobster collar. We've been in test for two years on the Florida Keys. As a matter of fact, like your buddy, uh, Mike, uh, yeah. I was I was in the Keys during ICAST. And <laughs> my computer running around from, from boat to boat, from lobster boat to lobster boat. Um, but, yeah, we've been extremely busy, you know, launching of the, you know, it's lobster season. So we're we're full bore with that. And then sales, so, thank so, goodness, are, are good. So that will actually work on our, our what will they call them, spiny lobsters? We call yeah. them. We call them bugs down here. Yeah, but yes, they'll sir. work up in Maine too in the colder water, also. Yes, correct. We use different sounds for, okay. for different regions, right? But uh, the Florida spiny lobster, we're actually catching about eighteen percent more with no bait, just the sound. Uh, Let me see that thing. Well, right now it's it's usually a blue top. This is oh, a, okay. Uh, That's a bottle that I'm working on. Yeah, um, and this is actually a. One that we use for the main lobster. Okay. Let's see if you can. Probably can't hear it, to be honest. Yeah, you'll be able to hear it. Let's oh, see. you can. Let's see where my other one is. This one doesn't have now, battery. People, people aren't even putting bait in the traps? No. Usually what they do over there with the lobster, they, they, they fill them with... Uh, the bait they use is uh, cowhide or pig's feet. Really? And the majority of the people are using cowhides because they're sturdy. They last longer. Yes. You know, especially some of these guys that are fishing deep, 300 feet for these white lobster off of Key West. It, it's hard to hold bait. I mean, you're holding bait for two hours and it's gone. Yeah, yeah. We you got- know, so this is revolutionary because you don't need bait. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And... Uh, and that's a secret sauce sound there that we have. And that's basically this low frequency wave. So you'll turn it on. It's got a speaker, 40 yep. millimeter speaker. And then you remove the speaker and, you know, you've got your on and off button. And then you can remove the inside and you can change the sounds. Oh. So if you're going from lobster to stone crab or to blue crab, or you just want to attract bait fish to grab bait fish for your fishing trip, throw this sucker underwater let it sit for a while, let it attract a bait fish, and then you throw your net, and then you get your fresh, you know, your fresh bullet or your fresh green bats or white bats or oh, nice. or whatever. That is awesome. Yeah. I like that yeah. idea. Well, yeah, we're actually, go keep, ahead. No, keep going. So we've got a really interesting other project too, Invincible Boats uh, okay. out of Miami uh, approached us, and we're currently now uh, making a unit for their boat. Um to attract, uh, you know, uh, fishing uh, fishes uh, uh, deep sea. So, 
we want to chum. You know how they chum the water yes. with chum. Well, we're going to chum with sound, and we've been very successful. So we're uh, we're getting ready to launch this. And uh, Peter Miller, I don't know if you're familiar with Peter Miller. I do know Peter from Uncharted Waters. Yep. He's uh, he's going to be the guy who's uh, going to be testing it for us and running it. And, um, you know, hopefully if it, it does as well as he hopes it does, uh, it'll be Peter Miller's baby. That is awesome. That is awesome news. I'm very happy yeah. for you guys. I hope he doesn't get upset for me saying anything. Well, well, Peter, we love you. Yeah. <laughs> he's a good dude, actually. He's always one of the best dressed guys at ICAST. Have you ever noticed that? Like yeah, ridiculous yeah. dressed. <laughs> Every time I see him, I make fun of him because of it too. I'm like, dude, where are you going after this? Yeah, yeah. He's got his Gucci shoes. And yes, his, uh, his Gucci shoes. shoes. I try to step on him. He's, <laughs> he's funny. He's, he, funny. he's good people, man. He's a hell of a fisherman, man. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll tell you that. He has a huge passion for it, and we're just blessed to to to, to be able to collaborate a little bit with him, and and uh, you know, it's just uh, hopefully we'll. We'll be able to, you know, get on a show and sponsor, do some sponsorships with him here down the road. That's awesome. Well, everyone, you need to go to livingstudlers.com. You can check them out. When are we going to see the new line of the Prime Time and the Pro Ripper? When are those going to be available for us to purchase? So they're basically right now in the tooling process. So uh, they'll be here in November. Okay. November, ready to ready to ship out the stores, and they should be on my website. So um, www.livingstudlers.com and Come on and check us out and see us on Facebook or Instagram. We're always putting uh, uh, putting out uh, info on that. And one more thing, if I may, uh, we've got a Livingston Lures tournament. It's called the Three Fish Throwdown that we're doing in collaboration with Kayak Bass Fishing okay. and uh, this new app called uh, Fishing Chaos. And we've got a $20,000 payout, wow. no entry fees, no entry fees, and it's Kayak bank or boat uh, five regions so we're, we're including people fishing from the pa- from the pond a boat or a kayak free of entry go to our social media check it out and uh and go win some money yeah that's great i'll post i'll i'll repost that off your thing on the new okay. on the the channel too okay Fantastic. well f- thank you very much eric it's great to see you when the new stuff I- comes out let's do this again or let's keep in touch a little bit better and anytime absolutely, absolutely. As let's as I do get it those little jig heads in i'll be calling you and let's set something up again thanks thanks so much and great to see you brother yes man i'll talk to you soon man i'm going to say Peace. goodbye everyone go check out go to living go to say go to their social media stuff join the the tournament and uh and get your fish on I'll see you guys soon. Eric, hold on. I'm going to hit finish. Thanks, guys.